DSV Healthcare and the BioVac Institute will be distributing the Pfizer COVID-19. The health department awarded the two the tender. The first doses are expected to arrive in the country in the first week of May. For more on this, Anthony Dyack from DSV Healthcare joins us now. Anthony, very good to have you with us this morning. How is it going to work? How quickly will you be able to get these vaccines out? So, Jaina, good morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So, I mean, from a from a speed perspective, uh, we can we can get the the products out relatively quickly from our facilities. You know, for us, it's really about receiving the products. Um, there will then be a sampling phase that needs to take place where we will uh, we will provide samples to a lab, a laboratory um, supplied or indicated by by Pfizer. Um, and then from there, it's really around receiving an order, uh, picking the, the product, putting it into a specialized cold chain boxes, and then delivering. So depending on where the delivery point is, we're looking at anything from, from two to three days um, in order for us to get the product to the vaccination sites. Okay, and any idea when the product will be coming? I mean, when, when will we start benefiting? Yeah, so we, we're expecting the, the first delivery to take place in the first week of May. I don't want to give any more details than that, but we're planning for the first week of May. Um, and then obviously we'll probably start to, to dispense uh, in the week thereafter. Um, but that is obviously controlled through the Department of Health. Okay, you also were awarded this alongside Biovec Institute. What is it that you two can both bring to this process? So I think if you if you think about the nature of the of the product, Jane, I mean it, it is a complex product. I mean the storage requirements are at minus 70, um, so you need to store it in ultra cold um, temperature. You then need to make sure that when you when you're picking it and you're packing it, you're delivering it, you maintain that cold chain. Um, and it's something that that DSV has invested heavily in is in that technology and the expertise around maintaining that cold check, that sorry that cold train. And and Biovac have done the same. So there's no doubt that between ourselves and Biovac. We have the technology, I suppose, the processes that allow us to maintain the cold chain and deliver to those facilities uh, within that minus 70 degree range. And obviously this is complementary alongside the government. I'm just wondering if you've got any thoughts on this. The variant that we're seeing in India, it's arrived in Africa now. I mean, how do you prepare for something like that? Will it impact in any way the work that you do? So, you know, I can't really comment, Jane, on the different variants, the different strains of the of yeah, of, of COVID. So that's difficult for me. But I mean theoretically our, our role is to is to receive the product, destroy it, and then deliver it to, to the designated point um, as appointed by the Department of Health. So so really uh, you know, if if there is a new strain, I suppose it's dependent on, on the department as to whether we distribute the product or not. If not, it'll sit within our long term storage facilities. Otherwise we'll push it out to the vaccination sites. And how uh, does it differ? in treating the Pfizer vaccine? I don't understand the question. No, I mean, I mean um, so the, the, the J&J and the Pfizer vaccine, when it comes to you, does it differ? <laughs> Yeah, it does, definitely. So the storage, con the, the storage conditions are very different. So the J&J vaccine, really, you look at about a two to eight, so it's just a normal cold chain. Whereas the Pfizer vaccine, you actually store at minus 70 and you deliver at minus 70. So, so it means that we have to invest in, in ultra cold freezers for, for long term storage. And also our delivery processes need to be very robust. So we've invested heavily in, in um, specific validated cold chain packaging. We use dry ice, and that allows us to, to maintain that minus 70 degree, um, I suppose, area or zone that we need in order to deliver. So, so our packaging gives us about 72 hours of passive um, freezing, which allows us to get the product from our facilities to any of the vaccination sites within South Africa. Anthony Dyack, we can't wait until you get them. Thanks for talking to us.